We're back in business, everyone, and here we go. We're in episode fifth. Wow, that was a wonderful sleep and dream. I and then we'll be going, we will go to episode uh, six. Oh, come on, Lincoln. It wasn't that bad. At least we got sleep. Jeez. I never got any sleep, Lola. Never again is this to happen. Got it. Seriously, that was the most awkward night ever in this entire family. Oh, Lincoln, get over it. So you and I shared a bed. Big deal. You did it with Lynn, months ago. So if you would let her stay with you when her and Lucy were not getting along, why can't I do it too? Because it is weird. That is why. Oh, Lincoln, knock it off with the weird crap. Besides, it's over and done with. Thank God for that. Now you can get out of my room now at last, since it is morning. What's the deal, Lincoln? Why do you want to get rid of your cute six-year-old little sister so much? I demand to know right now. For the last time, Lola. It is awkward. Now shut up, and stop bothering me already. There is nothing weird about this, Lincoln. Lynn did it with you. Why can she do it, and I cannot? Because she got into a fight with Lucy, and she came to stay with me for the last time. To this day I will never understand why she chose my room of all places in this house. Ugh, whatever. Good. Now that we got that settled, will you get the heck out already? Fine with me. Golly, I hope Pony doesn't have to deal with this in the future. Oh my god. Why on earth does Ronnie always have to be brought up? The two of us are just friends. Uh-huh. Sure she's Lincoln. That's why you spend more time with her than you used to do with us. What's wrong? Is my little sister all jealous? Ha 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 ha. I'm not jealous, you idiot. I'm just annoyed that you spend more time with her than us. Uh-huh. Sure you are. You know what? That's it. I'm not going to argue with you, Lincoln Loud. I'm going to my room. Good. Get out of here, you pageant brat. I could use a day off without listening to you for once. <laughs> Sometimes you yeah, she is a brat. That I just want to pop here in the jaw. And why don't you do it? Go ahead, I'm sitting right here. I dare you. Because you're not worth my time. That's why. Yeah, whatever. Hey, what's going on in there? Uh-oh. And why on earth is Lana and Lola's door open? Aw, oh, crap. I can't believe I stupidly forgot to close both mine and Lana's door when I chased you here. Oh, 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 oh. Those two brats must have skipped off into the night. Those two are so going to get when I get my hands on them. I have no doubt they are in Lincoln's room right now. Look, Lincoln, could we just call it truce this time? Yeah, deal. Let's get the heck out of here. I don't want to be grounded again. Lincoln. If you are in there, when I told you not to be, you are going to be in so much trouble than you already are. Oh crap, she is almost to my door. She's You're nearly there, we gotta get out of there. Away. What do we do, Linky? I don't want to be grounded even bigger time. We have no choice, we gotta go through the window. The window, Linky, that is a two-story drop. We could get seriously hurt or killed. It's our only chance. Lincoln, wait for me. I don't want to be grounded. The pillow is out of place, and judging by the marks, it looks like two people slept in here. I knew those two were here. The only question is, where are they now? Knowing them, they are probably trying to find a way to avoid getting grounded. It's like a prison escape. Now what do we do? Lori is right in your room now. We jump to the ground below. Linky, are you nuts? We could kill ourselves. Not if we do it the right way. Besides, it's either this or being grounded for a longer time. Let's do it. Oh man, I better not break an yellow rib my dress or something. Alright, on three. Ready. One, two, three. Jump. Lincoln, wait. Lincoln, are you okay? I'm fine. Come, let's go. Your turn. Hurry. It won't be long before Lori looks out my window and sees you on the roof. I'm scared. We all have to take risks, Lola. Hurry. Before Lori figures out we snuck out the window. Just land on your feet. You will be fine. I promise you I've done this before. Okay, I'll do it. Here I go. Yeah. I told you you'd be fine. Now let's get out of here. 
We are so free. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Lincoln and Lola Loud escape to the park. However, once they get there, they run into someone Lincoln faced. Man, it sure feels good to be free. Sorry. It sure does, Linky. I never thought I'd see outside ever again, but now it feels so good to feel grass again. Linky, are you okay? How come you're not answering me? Oh, guess who's coming? Hi, Lincoln. Where have you been the past several days? You hardly call me on video chat anymore. Ronnie, I'm so glad you're here. Well, I'm happy that you seem to be flattered that I am talking to you. What's been going on since you couldn't video chat me? It's a long story. Let's just put it that way. I ended up grounded for over 900 billion years by two of my sisters for breaking Lori's phone. Eventually, I couldn't take it anymore, and I bailed. Well, Lincoln, I must say that is quite an accomplishment you pulled there. I never thought I'd see the day that you would bend the rules. Ha 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 ha. I already told you before, Ronnie, that I can be tough if I wanted, and you didn't believe back then. Ha ha ha. Well, now you have your evidence. Oh, I agree. Now I know I should start taking you more seriously now. Look, Ronnie Ann, it's great to see you and all, but don't you have somewhere to be right now? Lola, what's the big idea? I don't have anything to do, Lola Loud. I can be free to talk with your brother if I choose to. May I remind you, it was you Loud Sisters that paired us to begin with. Word. Yeah, I admit, us Loud Siblings did pair you two together, but now it is starting to get annoying now. Lincoln barely has time for any of us anymore, and we wish that he never knew you. Oh shut up, Lincoln spends every day with the ten of you Loud Sisters. Most of the time I'm elsewhere with my own family, meaning he has plenty of time for you as well. Oh yeah. Then why do you always treat him as if he was your own personal punching bag? I do that as a form of passion. You know tough love. Maybe if you learned how to read, you'd know what it means. That is love. And even Lincoln knows that. Now here is some advice for you little girl. If you can't accept the fact that Lincoln and I are happy, then something is mentally wrong with your loud sisters. I suggest, seek help. There is nothing wrong with my sanity, <laughs> or any of the other loud sisters. We just find you annoying, and we will not stand for this. Either leave my brother alone or else. And if I don't? Oh, I will show you, right now. Oh. You girls knock it off. You are not worth my time, you little brat. Link and I will call you sometime tonight. Yeah, you better run. And if I see you again, next time I won't hold back. Lola, are you nice? Why the hell did you just attack my girlfriend like that? You knew she was fine. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I just don't like you with her. I think you can do better than her. Not going to happen. You're lucky that Ronnie Ann could handle herself in a fight. But for showing your true colors, Lola, you are grounded. Now get out of my sight. Okay, Linky. I'm going. And quit calling me that. That is not my name. It's Lincoln Loud. Get it right. You idiot. Now we're going to do one more and then we'll continue another one until tomorrow. Alright? Yes, I understand. I can't believe Lincoln and Lola disappeared from the house. Thank you for telling me. I will be on my way when I get home. By Lori. Boy, things sure haven't been the same since oh, Mom and Lucy. Dad both disappeared. And Lori had to carry the burden of playing mother role toward all of us. Now Lincoln Loud has become a troublemaker. I worry about him so much. I hope that when I get back home I can talk to him with both Lynn and Lou. And looks like the Roga City Express train had just departed. I still have to wait a while for my train to come in. God go at around 4 p.m. Lucy, it would be easier. I hate Lou and so much. Now just calm down Lucy. Do not forget that she is your sister and she is older than you. I am nine. She is 15. I just have to think of happy things to get my mind off of it. Like maybe, my poems, or better yet Lincoln Loud. There are so many things to think about, it is not even funny. I will just have to pick between the two. 
Attention passengers of Regis Station, train platform 18 has broken down on the rails, and has been delayed, until it can be repaired. All passengers are now required to wait for one hour until train 18 can be repaired. We apologize for the delay, but we have experts working on the line now. Thank you for your time. Are you kidding me? I have to now wait one hour for my stupid train to come back and take me home. This is complete crap. Now I'm going to have to wait forever. This sucks. I better call Lori and inform her that I'm going to be late. Back at the hot loud house. Alright, thanks again for trying, Lynn. I know, I am worried about him too. Ivy looked all over this house. I can't find Lincoln anywhere. Yes, go ahead, keep looking. Bye. All right. At first I was angry, but now I don't know what to feel now. Where's Lincoln and Lola? For one, they know they are grounded, and yet they vanish from this house. I don't know where the heck the two disappear to, but if I find them first, I will wrap my arms around them and kiss them like a worried mother would. Then those two are grounded forever. I can't believe how far those dummies are willing to go not to stay grounded. <coughs> Hello? This is Lori Loud speaking who is calling, please. Hello, Lori. It's Lucy. I'm afraid I have bad news. I won't be getting home for a while now. Due to my stupid train breaking down, I have to wait one hour before it arrives. Your train broke down, Lucy. Do you want me to drive over to the Regis City subway station and pick you up? No, no. You don't have to, Lori. You already have enough things to do over there at home. Don't worry about me. Just keep searching for Lincoln and Lola. I will call you later. Okay, I understand. Just be careful, Lucy. You are only nine years old. I would completely lose it if anything happened to you. I will be fine, Lori. Don't worry about it. Just focus on finding Lincoln. Don't forget I've wandered off on my own before. So, like always, I will be home soon. You know me. Goodbye. Great. Now Lucy is experiencing problems at Regis Station. And Lola and Lincoln have disappeared. What else can go wrong? Hey Lori, I'm back from the mall. There is no sign of Lola anywhere over there. And I also checked the ballpark and found Clyde. He says he hasn't seen Lincoln either. What about around Cortac Avenue? Did you take a look around there? Those are one of the streets Lincoln always hangs around. Lynn and Lisa already checked there. He is nowhere. It's as if both him and Lola have vanished off the face of this big ball thing we're standing on. It's called Earth Lenny. We went through this several times yesterday. Oh, right I forgot. Look Lenny, just head downstairs and go check around the yard again. If they are nowhere around this neighborhood I am calling the police. Which yard? The front or back? Seriously Lenny, come on. I know you lack intelligence, but you are no way this stupid. Check both. Dummy. Hey, I'm doing what I can here. It's not my fault I am this way. I never asked to be born like this, Lori. Geez. Yeah, yeah. We got it already. Now make like an amoeba and split. You know, Lori, you really have to learn to go easier on people. Sometimes I wonder why Lola and Lincoln ran away. It's because you always act like a tyrant in this house. Excuse me. Listen here, Missy. In case you haven't noticed, Mom and Dad are not here anymore. I've been taking care of all of us for the past seven months now. Without any help from you, you have no idea what it is like to take care of ten siblings. I am only 18. I should be living life like a normal teen but I can't anymore as I have to look after all of you. You are only 17 Lenny. You don't even know half of the crap I put up with in this family. With my phone being destroyed, Lana ending up with radiation poisoning, and both my 12-year-old father Lincoln, and 7-year-old sister Lola disappearing out of the blue while grounded, well all you have to do is talk to walls, and smile, and you have the audacity to say I act like a tyrant. Screw you Lenny Loud, sometimes I wish you were never born, <laughs> and if you were, I wish you were born with an actual brain. Hey, I may be not as smart as anyone else in this family, but I at least have a creative mind for fashion, and you being the only one to look after us is nonsense. 
I watched that Also, day. don't forget you, idiot, as it was because of me and my allowance money on how you got that second phone, and how I was the one who grounded Lincoln for destroying your first one. Second of all, I am really getting sick of you always constantly lying and saying I am talking to walls. I swear if you say that one last time, I will destroy you. Uh huh. Sure you will, Lenny. Ha ha ha. You wouldn't last two minutes against me. Wanna bet? That's nice, Lenny. We can play your little bit game later on tonight. Now why don't you act like a tough little girl back <laughs> yard where I told you to search for Lincoln and Alola. For the last freaking time, Lori Loud, I'm not a little girl. I'm 17 freaking years old already. That's it. I can't take it anymore. I am so sick of being made fun of. And what are you going to do? You are weak and brainless. You don't even know what a vacuum cleaner is. How am I going to take your threats seriously? Oh, that's right. I can't. Now for the last time, stop acting like a little toddler and go and help find Lincoln and Alola for crying out loud. You know what? No, I won't do it. I won't be your little maid anymore. You want to find Lincoln and Lola? You do it yourself, Lori Loud. I'm going to find Lincoln and Lola on my own and not for you. And if I find them, I am going to completely unground Lincoln and maybe have him smash that second phone I got you. Until then, I hope Bobby pulls the plug on you, you jerk. Oh, and by the way, Lincoln is right. No one cares about that stupid Bobby. So just shut the hell up already. Oh! If you mention my Bobby again, I will break your neck with my bare hands. Now get out of my house, tyrant. Oh! Lori really needs help. I mean, I understand she is stressed from having to deal with the ten of us, Lincoln and Lola's disappearance. But that is still not an excuse to act like a tyrant of this house. Well, those footsteps sound heavy. Where are they coming from? Lori. Please don't. Uh oh. Well, Lori, what on earth is happening to you? Why are your eyes filled with flames? Call me a tyrant. Huh, I will show you how a tyrant acts. Wait, what? Ouch. Oh! What are you doing to me? Oh, my face. That hurts. Please stop. Ouch. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I like a little brat. Call me a tyrant again. You are a tyrant, Lori. <laughs> what? what have I done? <laughs> yes. What happened to you? Luna! I heard a large thrashing down here, and I came down as fast as I could. What happened here? Lori, did you do this to Lenny? Yes, I'm sorry. I lost my temper. I didn't mean to. It's just she was getting under my skin. I'm so sorry. What is going on, everyone? What was all Lily and Lisa. <laughs> Oh dear, why is Lenine on the floor in a bloody mess? What is going on? Please someone explain. I did it. What? Why? Why would you do that to a sister? It looks like her ribs and legs are fractured. You almost killed her, Laurie. I agree. Listen, Laurie, I am sorry you were getting stressed out. I am sorry Lincoln and Lola are gone. And I am sorry Lena is suffering from radiation poisoning. But you didn't have to go as far as to taking your anger on Lenny. She was trying to help find the two like everyone else. Lord, I can prove it. That was a really terrible thing to do. You don't just go off on emotions like that. You just walk away. I agree, Lori. I can't believe you did this to Lena. You're lucky you didn't kill her in your rage. I know. I should have just walked away. And to be honest, that is what Lenny did. But instead I chased her down here and attacked her after we argued in our room. And was it worth it? Did beating the crap out of Lenny really make you feel better? No, it didn't. In fact, it only made me feel terrible. Lenny is right. I have become a tyrant in this house. No wonder our Lincoln became a troublemaker. It was all because of me. I'm sorry for the way I am. I'm also sorry for everything, girls. It's just no one helps me care for you. I have had this burden on me since mom and dad disappeared. And it hurts me. Am I still on this round thingy? My head and midsection hurt so bad. Don't talk me night. You're in a lot of pain. Just lay down in the main chill. What? Who is talking to me? Is that the living room wall? <laughs> is your baby sister Lily loud? Talking to you? Please just remain silent. Okay, I will. 
I think it's best Lori if you go to your room now. We will take care of Linnae on our own. I understand. Go ahead, take care of Linny. I'm going out. If you were truly sorry of what you did today, Lori, you would call someone and get some anger management. You have to control your temper, because if you don't, it will end you. Luna is right. Anger is the death of so many people. If it is not from a heart attack or stroke, then it is from murder. Not everyone has the audience to deal with people like you. Please, Lori, for my sake, for everyone's sake, please get help. Please control your anger. Because if you can do this, Lily, how long before you get a Lincoln or anyone else? I promise I will, Lily. Goodbye, girls. Take good care of money, please. Please, Mr. Ceiling, can I get an order of wood, please? I think Lenai's injuries are starting to get to her head now. We best get her back to the room so she can heal up a little more. I hope Lori keeps her promise and controls her anger. Me to Lisa, me too. Lily head back upstairs and continue to play with your toys. Lisa same with you. I will bring Lenny upstairs. When Lynn, Lou and, and Lizzie return I will explain it. Alright. Alright, this is the final episode we're about to react. So we we'll, we will continue this ep the episode and we'll be going to episode 7th and then 8th and then hang on 8th. Oh wait, 7 6 8 9 10 11. All right, where we where we going? We got five more episodes that we have to react, all right? So make sure you drop a like and subscribe my channel and come up. Well, I, I actually, because the comments might be disabled. So go subs and there's a piece of hair. All right. Go subscribe to this channel. One. Okay. S sorry. Um, 2091 Rivera Israel. And I'll give you guys a link on the description. See you tonight on the live stream on the reaction of WWE Friday Night Smackdown on Fox. See you later, everyone.